Hi guys, George here from Zero Peer Productions, and today on Skyrim Saturday Mods, I'm taking a look at Mirai, The Girl with the Dragon Heart by Khalid X. This is a highly requested mod, one that people have been asking me to check out for years, and I figured it was about time that I finally got around to covering it. Mirai is a fully voiced standalone follower mod, complete with its own combat system and story quest, as well as a romance and marriage component. Mirai is a young Breton mage originally hailing from High Rock, but has come to Skyrim following a set of unfortunate events. The questline for Mirai is intended to be played after you have been declared as the Dragonborn by the Greybeards, and much of it has been written assuming that you are playing alongside or even after the events of the Dragonborn DLC. The mod is available on PC both for Classic and Special Edition. For these videos, I'll be showing the Special Edition version. She can be found in her home in Markarth. I just don't understand. Where else could they be? I'm sorry, Mirai, but I really don't know where else to look. Well, that mage I think we coast, should start right? considering that Your maybe they aren't there. in Skyrim. What? That doesn't even make any sense. Why else would they tell me to come here? I don't know, kiddo. But I know your mother and I can't think of any reason she'd leave you without so much as a word. So... what? Are you saying they abandoned me? Or... or they're dead? That they decided I was just too much trouble and left? Mirai, you know that's not what I meant. But it's possible. <sighs> I just don't get it. Wait. What? Is there something else? Don't, don't mind the man watching. Never mind. Listen, I have an idea. I need you to do one more thing for me. Mirai... I really don't think there's anywhere else to look. Whenever we visited Skyrim, we stayed with a friend of his. I need you to go find him. He must know something. You mean Junin? Mirai, are you sure about this? Of course. I think I remember he lives in Rorikstead or Falkreath. I'm not sure it's been a while. Please, just do this one last thing for me. I have to stay here in case they come back. I need to ask him some questions. If you can, bring him back here? <sighs> okay. I guess I'll start with Rorik's dead. She sounds a little He quiet. shouldn't be too much trouble. Just send word when you find him. And Shin? <laughs> Thanks. Hello. What is it? Hope you don't mind that I was eavesdropping on your conversation. You're very young looking. You're very, very young looking. The idea of romance is already throwing me off a little bit here. Uh, is everything alright? Do you need help? Alright? Excuse me, but who are you? That is fair. I did just eavesdrop on your entirely personal conversation, but you also had it in the middle of broad daylight, just standing out here in the street. So, you know, we're both at fault here. What's with the attitude? You eavesdrop on a conversation outside my home, and you wonder why I have an attitude? Why not have it in your home? Everyone from Skyrim is so... <sighs> funny. Thank you. I wasn't eavesdropping, just trying to be nice. Uh... I mean, it's two good points. One, I was eavesdropping. Two, if you have a house, why not have it in your house? Then, it would be weird if I was eavesdropping on you when you were having the conversation inside your house. So, we're at a stalemate. I wasn't eavesdropping. Oh? Then why were you lurking around my home like that? Just waiting for the big guy to leave? Um... If you think I'm gonna let you have your way with me, or my stuff, you're dead wrong. What? Where the hell did that come from? Do I look evil to you? I know better than anyone how looks can be deceiving. Alright, well I just want to help. But why? I don't think I've ever met someone so concerned with other people and not want something in return. I mean, I'll take gold if you have any. How can I prove myself? Why are you making this so difficult? I like how we're already off to, like, a bad start with her. Why are you so persistent? I'm actually starting to believe you're genuine. Anyone else's patience would have run out by now. I'm very stubborn. How can I prove myself? You're really not going to drop this, are you? Look, I really have nothing to offer you, so don't come back expecting a reward. 
I guess I should at least give you a chance then, shouldn't I? Okay, if you really want to help me that bad, I do have something you can do. There's a spot a little east of here I used for fishing. I left, uh, I left something there and I just want you to bring it back. It's nothing valuable, so don't think you could just run away with it, but it's still important. I'll mark it on your map, so just bring it back to me when you find it. So I could still run away with it. Is that all? Is what you're saying. I think it's the hair that makes her yeah? look younger. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know if it's like the hair or a combination of the hair and the facial structure and then because she's a little bit on the shorter side, but then being short doesn't mean that you're young. But in Skyrim, since, you know, everyone pretty much has a set height, when you see someone shorter, it's usually, oh, that's a child. Or at least someone who's significantly shorter, it's a child. Okay, so it's down by Reachwater Rock. Retrieve Mirai's lost item. See, I could still run off with it, though. Even if it doesn't have value, I could still run off with it. It just wouldn't matter if I did or did not. Alright, let's get it. Oh! Well, I think we found her fishing spot. Mirai's camp discovered. Her horse. A very nice tent. That's covered with snow. Hmm. That's a little odd. Got a mud crab, we're gonna leave him alone. Uh, so I don't see anything there. So we probably just have to find what she's looking for. Steal from chest? Okay, so I don't want to do that. Well, actually... Okay, because it says steal from chest, but none of this is stealing. Because it just says take. What is supposed to be here? Like, is it supposed to be pointed into the item itself, or... Is there just something else here? Oh, Mirai's journal. I'm gonna go out on a limb and I'm gonna assume that this is gonna be it. Okay, this is gonna be a very long journal. Wow. Yep, alright. So I'm going to read through this because I don't want to spend this entire episode reading a book. And I will sum it up for you guys. One second. It's also occurring to me that maybe I shouldn't be reading her journal. That seems like a huge invasion of privacy. The reason I'm reading through it is because, you know, to take a book, you have to read it first. That's just how Skyrim works. Uh, but essentially, from what I've read so far, it's just kind of about... Can you just tell oh. me what the big deal is? Uh-oh. We are not going through this again, Mirai. Wait. I told you to stay in your room. Wait. No! This isn't fair! Why can't you just let me have a normal life like everyone else? That's enough, Mirai. One more word out of you and the trip is cancelled. <gasps> Wait a second. <sighs> That's from the last entry in the book. Oh, is this a magical journal? Oh, no! Oh! It's okay, I'll kill the mud crab. You're fine. God damn. Are you good up there? I didn't realize I was watching or playing The Witcher 3. I didn't realize you were Roach. Okay. Because that was actually the last entry in the journal where she's talking about how her dad caught her training uh, with a sword and... He canceled the trip because of it. But yeah, essentially the journal was just about how she's been having strange dreams, how uh, how she's trying to get the approval of her father because she's not training in the way that he wants her to, and stuff like that. I wonder if there's going to be a dialogue where she asks, like, oh, did you read the journal? Oh, did you see anything when you opened the journal? I guess we'll find out in a second. I think it's also her voice, which just kind of makes her feel like she's very young. 
I wonder if she's ever gonna bring up her age, because right now, to me, she's striking me as, like, maybe 15 or 16. So the fact that there is marriage makes me assume that, you know, she's supposed to be older than that. It just does not seem that way. I mean, just the height alone. Like, that's... that's short. She's just like, what are you talking about? Right in front of my face. What is it? Is this what you wanted? No need to get so hostile. That's it. Give it to me. Here's your book. Thank you. This is very important to me. I know what you're thinking. Well, why didn't you get it yourself then? Well, that's really none of your business. It's not like it was going anywhere. I was just in a rush, because I remembered Shin was supposed to be back today. Either way, I really should take better care of it. Why aren't you wearing pants? Is the other question I have. Just something I noticed the first time we talked that I just wanted to mention. Uh, Shin, is he who you were speaking with earlier? Uh, yeah. I've known him forever. He's an old friend of my mother's. He's been an... Invaluable help. I don't know where I would be without him. What has he been helping you with? Uh... Something. Hmm... Why don't you ask him yourself? You're all for doing stuff for free, right? <laughs> well, I sent Shint Rorikstead to find someone, and... Well... He's already done so much for me. He could probably use some help. Never mind, just go to Rorikstead and talk to him. He'll have something for you to do. Was that all? The difference between him and I is that he's friends with your family and he wants to help you. I've just met you, we don't have a great rapport, and you're just like, oh, you want to do stuff for free, right? I never said I wanted to do stuff for free, I said I was willing to do that one thing for free. I never offered my services for free on an unlimited time basis. That's a little bit of a stretch. Alright. Down to Rorikstead. Now, one of the reasons I wanted to... Oh, that nest just fell out of a tree. <gasps> one of the reasons I wanted to do this mod this week is because I figured it might be kind of a nice follow-up to the Teldrin Sirius mod. Teldrin Sirius is a follower and quest mod where it uses vanilla voice lines spliced together, so there's only so much that they could do with the story, whereas this is a follower mod with custom dialogue. Therefore, you can really write whatever kind of story you want. So I thought it might just be You're gonna get it, Sizzle. another way to just kind of Why? take a look at some cool followers and stuff. Yes? Are you Shin? You don't really look like you're uh, looking for anyone right now, as you were instructed to do. Shin? Only one person calls me that. Who are you? I'm her. I'm Mirai. And she sent me to help for free, so maybe you can pay me. Mirai sent someone to help me? I thought something was different about it today. Why is that surprising? I've known Mirai for a long time, and when she sets her mind on something, nothing will keep her from getting what she wants. <laughs> Why do you put up with her? Her parents did a bad job, determined I like it. Uh, why do you put up with her? She's like family, and she... Well, never mind. You just have to be there for your family, no matter what. I contest that. Anyways, we're getting off track. I don't know who you are, but if Mirai told you where and who I am, you must have spoken with her. I knew this was a long shot when Mirai told me her plan, but I really didn't want her to lose hope. This is probably her last chance. I was supposed to find an orc who goes by the name Junin, a friend of her father's. From what Mirai remembers, he lives in Rorikstead or Falkreath. I've looked around town several times and spoke with several people, as well as the guardsmen, and no one has seen any orcs around here. I think you know where I'm going with this. I'm exhausted and I could use another pair of eyes in Falkreath. Mirai wants to speak with him personally. You can either bring him back to me and I'll take him to her, or bring him yourself. 
I personally never met this orc before, so I don't know how cooperative he'll be. How you persuade him to Mirai is up to you. Not too bad, right? But if there's anything else, I'll be at the inn here at Rorkstead if you have any questions. I need a break. I have a few questions. Mirai probably didn't explain very much, did she? She's a tough shell to crack. If there's anything you need to know, I hope any way I can. Why are you looking for this orc? Will this be dangerous? What's your relation to Mirai? Why are you helping her? Why is she such a brat? Why is she so reluctant to trust me? Here's what I like. I like that from the get-go, the mod isn't saying, like, you are infatuated with her, you are in love with her, she's in love with you, and stuff like that. It's not this thing of the relationship aspect, the marriage aspect, is already being forced on you super hard from the get-go. So I do like that. Like I said, I started off with kind of a, a bad rapport with her because she's like, why are you listening in? And I'm like, why are you talking out in the middle of the street and surprised that people are listening in? Um, I'm curious what he's going to say if I say that she's a brat. I like to call it outspoken. She's only like that to people she doesn't know, with good reason. She takes a little extra warming up to, if you have the patience for it. Anything else? So even he is aware that she's a little rough around the edges. Why is she so reluctant to trust me? Uh, probably because I'm a stranger, you know? You have to understand, Mirai grew up in a very sheltered environment. Her father raised her to be very cautious of anyone, and this is the result. Why is she giving you a chance anyways? I have no idea. There must be something different about you. You're the first person not directly related to her parents in some way that she didn't just outright ignore. I don't know. I won't even begin to try to understand the mind of a young girl. This is the other reason Anything I'm uncomfortable. Else? With the idea of the romance. He- I know it's because he's a friend of the mom, but he says, Kiddo, young girl. Yeah. So unless in the course of the mod, several years pass, I don't know how I feel about the idea of a romance. Why are you looking for this orc? Information. But with our luck so far, I doubt this orc will be all that helpful. I think Mirai is just getting desperate, but it's difficult to say no to her knowing what's at stake. What's at stake? Actually, I think that's better answered by Mirai herself. Anything else? Will this be dangerous? Honestly, I don't know. I've never personally met this orc before, but Mirai has, and if she could handle it, I think you could too. Anything else? What's your relation to Mirai? I knew her mother before she was born, and when I had a daughter, they both became best friends. They were inseparable. Oh no. Naturally, I grew to care for Mirai as one of my own. What happened to your daughter? Anything else? What happened to your daughter? Now I'm concerned. They were inseparable. Either they're not friends or his daughter is dead. I've known Mirai all her life. She's like a second daughter. Would you refuse your daughter if she asked you for help? That's all there is to it. Anything else? I almost feel like the anything else after each question, or after each answer, is a little redundant and unnecessary. Not a big thing, it's just... If you're asking every question and he just goes, anything else, every time, it's like, alright. I just let me ask my questions. I'll be here if you need to know anything else. Okay. On to Falkreath. Now, is the home going to be locked? It's not. Oh, it's just the barracks. Oh, is he in jail? Yeah, he's in jail. Hello? Oh. Hello. The second I get out. Oh, no. Get out of my face. Are you? Junin? Finally. It's about time Zanen sent someone else to get me out of this wretched hole. Who? Uh, right. Zanen sent me. Just get me out of here already. Hmm, yes. Why are you in there? For absolutely nothing. The way that Nord was looking at me, if I didn't get him first, the second I turned around, I knew I'd have a knife in my back. I swear, if you saw the way he looked at me, 
You would have done the same. No, can't guarantee that. You deserve to be in there. Skyrim is doomed to oblivion if you snow-buried idiots are our future. Alright. Anyone down here with me? Any guards? Nope. No guards. Just wanted to double check. Just wanted to make sure. <laughs> I knew Zonin wouldn't send another useless imbecile. Good work. What are you looking at? Nope, alright. Nope. Just cut off his dialogue right there. Now, I hope you're not seen escaping. Otherwise, you're dead. Wait. Oh! I know you. No. I'll take my leave then. No, you don't. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? I was not detected. I was undetected. But at the same time, you did see him leave the prison, and the only other person down here would be the person who let him out, so that is fair. I'm the Jarl's Thane. I demand you let me go at once. Oh, forgive me, Thane. I didn't realize it was you. We'll look the other way this time, but even the Jarl's influence has its limits. Be more careful. Be more careful when you go letting people out of jail. People who probably deserve to be in jail anyway. What business to call it? So now where is the rendezvous point? Okay, just by Peak Shade Tower. That's not too bad. There you are, murderer. What do you want? You got me in trouble, by the way. Uh, looks like we're clear. <laughs> Is that what goes for a city guard these days? I think I felt a little tickle. Oh, he was supposed to get beaten by that guard. Okay. So that just didn't play out the way it was supposed to, I'm guessing. I need to take you to speak with a girl named Mirai. How do you know that name? Wait, you know where she is? You weren't hired by Zonen, were you? Mirai sent me. She wants to speak with you. What could she possibly want to speak with me for? She didn't say. Just that she wants to speak with you. Who are you? Why did she send you? I'm the Dragonborn. The Dragon... with Mirai? Uh... yes, and I'm helping her. That girl somehow managed to enlist the help of the Dragonborn. Forget it. If Mirai wants to speak with me, then take me to her. She doesn't even know I'm the Dragonborn. That's the funny thing. Uh, we should hurry. The only thing keeping us is your continued barking. Yeah, yeah. Get moving. You know what? You would still be in jail if it wasn't for me. Let's go then. She's in Markarth. A day away then. I should speak to her as soon as possible. I'll follow you. Just lead the way. Alright. Let's get you there. And I realized that I could have taken him to Shin, but... I mean... He wanted to be taken to Mirai directly, so... Let's just do it his way. Junin? I don't believe it! You found him! Mirai! <laughs> How did you manage to get the Dragonborn to help you find me? The Dragonborn? What are you talking about? Junin, shut up for a second. Do you know where my parents are? Well, wow, alright. Is that what you wanted to speak to me about? Mirai, your father... Your father has been worried sick about you. He'll want to know I found you. Found me? I wasn't hiding. I've been waiting here for months. Exactly where he told me to. You're telling me he didn't think to look for me here? And why are you acting so strange? You've never called me by my name before. It's always the girl or Skeever or Runt. And your attitude is different. Everything is different about you. Uh-oh. <sighs> but you're still the same paranoid girl. Can you drop that act for one second? What would I lie for? 
What do you have that I could possibly want, Runt? Just keep your mouth shut and I'll take you to him. I don't trust this. Wait, where is Shin? Oh no. Shin? You mean Colin? That worthless sack of meat your no. mother calls a friend? Maybe I should have... Shut up! He is more of a man than you'll ever be! Maybe I should have taken him to Shin. Wait, is my mother with father? Yes, they're not far. I can take you to them right now, but we could also use your friend's help. I don't like this. She is? Then yes! Take me to them right now! That's the wrong two. That's what I like to hear. Whenever your friend is ready to come, we should go. I don't like this at all. Okay, I'm coming, but first... Hey, uh... Thanks for your help so far. But I... I need another favor. What is it? Also, can we go get Shin? Is it too late to get Shin involved? Because I don't really like this right now. I, uh... I'm a little nervous going alone anywhere with this brute, and... Well... Uh, I don't do this very often, alright? Just come with me. Are you sure? This sounds really personal. I'll see the suit to the end. You owe me. <laughs> you lost your parents? I don't want to say it like that. It's a little rude. Uh, are you sure? This sounds really personal. Uh, it is, but honestly, I don't trust Junin all that much. He's acting really strange. I just don't want to go alone. Something in my head is just telling me not to go. But it's too good of a chance to pass up. Hey, I'm not gonna beg. Just come with me. In that case, goodbye. End. Oh. I'm so curious. We'll reload a save, but I'm so curious as to what happens. Fine. I started this alone, so I'll finish alone. I don't need you. Oh. Is that it? I was waiting for there to be a cutscene of like her getting executed or something because I just refused to help her. Oh, what is it? Configure Mirai's settings. Was that seriously it? Oh, I, can I not do the settings? Was that seriously it? I mean, maybe it's just through the mod manager. Nope. All right, well, here's what I'm going to do. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to load a different autosave, and this time we're going to take him to Shin slash Colin first. I like that you can fail the quest, but it's also a little odd that there's nothing else after that. Like, you don't see why you failed or the result of it. Although, maybe if I had waited around longer, what you could have you seen the consequences. Maybe that's my fault for just assuming that we would see the consequences all at once. What do you want? So maybe that was just me being a little impatient. Yes? I found Junin, and I don't trust him. Why is he in prison, Rags? What did you have to do? Actually... Maybe it's better, I don't know. I'm guessing it was more trouble than Mariah let on. You did good. Thank you. I could take it from here. I'll take him back myself. What? Are you sure? Yes, I found him. I'll take him back. So bringing him to you really didn't matter in the end, did it? If you think this will somehow give you more credit in Mariah's favor, you're wrong. She's not interested in you, just the results. It doesn't matter if you're her best friend, or the High King of Skyrim. She'll tell you what she wants from you. I really do suggest you reconsider. I said I'm taking him alone. Why am I... being such a dick about this? Well, you did find him. Fine. I don't need to prove myself to her. I don't know what you're thinking, but as long as he gets to Mirai, I don't see a problem. Okay. What are you looking at? I have a few questions. Do we really have time for this? We have as much time as I say we have. You're not gonna hurt Mariah, are you? I've resisted giving her what she deserves all these years. You have nothing to worry about from me. Oh. 
Wow. I really don't trust you.